Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Saturday morning at Moonlight Tarot in Oracle. You can see that I am still tweaking things with the setup. I've got a new um, new toy, which is my microphone right here. So hopefully that will help to even out the sound and get everything um, so you can hear me better. So, and you can actually see my table there is one more thing that is coming um today i have to go get it it's a surprise and that will just finish this whole setup up um i like i said did some tweaking in the area here um this morning and we're gonna test it out and see how it goes you can actually see the whole background now let me know what you think. If you think I should get a backdrop, um, just let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. We're just gonna go ahead and read the energy for today, for this weekend. Um, I am bringing a favorite back tomorrow along with my pick a bill reading. Um, it's something that I actually started the channel on, so stay tuned. Um, and it was, it's being brought back because of a request from, um, the creator of the thing. So enough jabbering, enough going on and on about stuff. So let's go ahead and see what the energies are for this weekend for the general collective. We're going to start with the Moonology deck. We have communication is the key, the new moon in Gemini. So there is something that you need to communicate, I feel. You need to communicate your feelings to someone or about some situation. You, this could be, I'm leaning more towards work right now. That's what comes. Spirit is telling me. You, I feel you need to communicate your wants and your hopes and um, your career path with your employer. If you are the boss, maybe you need to communicate your intents, your, your, what you have in, in mind in your vision for your work staff, for your, the people that report to you. Let's go ahead and grab one more. And then we have, have faith in your dreams, the waxing crescent moon. So... As you all know, I love this card because it has the crescent moon and it has a butterfly and I love butterflies. Butterflies are indicative of new starts, new beginnings. If you know the story about butterflies, they are a lot of them are actually caterpillars that have bloomed that have gone into their chrysalis and that caterpillar has kind of aspect has kind of like faded off during the process of metamorphosis and then it becomes grows into this beautiful butterfly that comes out and just lights the world and I feel that your dreams have light your your dreams are your light they're what you live for they're what you you think about when you go to bed at night when you realize that you are done for the day and things are just coming to a conclusion for the day and your mind can rest a little bit then it goes into your dreams into your night into your into your dreams into your your fantasies things that you want in your life and maybe the communication you need to communicate these dreams these um aspirations to your your work staff to your coworkers to the people that help you to, that can help you to make those dreams come true, that can help build that, those dreams and um, make them, or have, help them come to fruition. Let's go ahead and draw a manifestation card. Let's see how they want you to manifest this. Spirit, how would you like my collective to manifest to their dreams? You have the last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. 
Exactly. Reveal your your dreams. Maybe I don't know if you want to reveal the whole dream or all of the aspects of that dream, but just reveal what needs to be known in that time in that situation and it lets them help you in obtaining those dreams and those inspirations um those um things that you want in your life let's go ahead and one more spirit one more on how you want them to have faith and to communicate these dreams one more first quarter moon in Capricorn unleash your kindest self so maybe these dreams these things that you need to communicate you need to do these with kindness maybe you need to show some 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 way some kindness to the co your co-workers your the people that report to you show them some um some love and maybe show them what your dream is show them in if it is a dream to open a bakery or if it's a dream to start a crafting business whatever maybe show them your gifts show them with kindness make them cupcakes make them a cake um make them something for the office that will show them that you care about them and that you trust them with your your biggest dreams and hopes and let's go ahead and draw moonology message deck or cards and then we'll go ahead and get into tarot We have avoid drama, moon madness. So yeah, I think this is something that we all need to do. We all need to avoid drama. And drama is not the nicest thing. I try and avoid drama as much as possible. Unfortunately, drama finds its way to me. And then I try to work on it to get rid of it. So... I just avoid drama. Maybe you need to walk away from something. Uh, maybe you need to walk away from someone saying some negative things about your dreams. Some negative, the, the negative talk that people are saying to you about, oh, you can't make that happen. You don't have the ability. You don't have the money. Um, exactly. Moon goddess, high, higher power. Find your higher power. Talk to spirit. Let spirit take control. This kind of goes with that reading from yesterday of spirit taking control of any situation you're in. Give a, give your dreams to spirit. Let Speak them out. Manifest them. Write them down. Whatever you need to do, just, just have faith is that the higher power, the goddess, God, whoever you believe in, it has that ability to make them happen and make them come true. All right. So let's go ahead and draw some tarot. We are using a brand new deck that I got yesterday. I am so in love with these cards. Um, they're a little simple, but they're more I I they're more Renaissance like to me in a way, more artistic, more. Um, more I don't know more pretty I, I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> so let's go ahead and draw some tarot to see what comes out in the cards and of course they're new and I played with them I worked with them a little bit last night and um I guess I didn't work with them enough so, Spirit, what, how would you like my collective to make these dreams known to people? We're not taking all those. Okay. 
All right, we can take those. Just still tweaking where the mic is gonna go. All right. Let's see here. All right, so bottom of the deck is the six of wands. So I feel this is your outcome. This is you're gonna ride into victory and success. When I look at this card, I think of the, the, the old ancient Rome where they had the, um, the gladiator fights. That's what this kind of reminds me of, like I said, a more gothic, more, more Renaissance-like. So you are going to come into victory and success with these dreams and these what you want to happen if you only you only let it out into the universe. I feel that you've kept it in your head and it's not something that you have revealed to a lot of people. It's you're kind of like keeping it secret, which is great and very um very good. But you have to let bits and pieces out and I almost feel like you have to let people help you. You are in a situation where you kind of are doing way too much and it's exhausting you and it's kind of making you sick in a way, um, both physically or more so physically, I think. It's physically making you sick because you're trying to go between so many different worlds, so many different places all at once and your mind is not focused on one particular thing that you need to have done in that day. So for example, if you're at work, you're thinking about, I don't know, about that baking business and how you can buy product, buy materials, inventory, things that you need when you should be focusing more on your current job. And so I almost feel that, yeah, it does take some money, it does take a lot of time and people that you trust, but I feel you need to find that one person that you trust more than anything in the world and reveal those, those dreams to them. Let them help you. Um, because they say, um, what is that saying? More hands make light work or something like that. So... I almost feel that you need to, like I said, let people, let one particular person, I don't think you need to tell the world. I wouldn't advise it because you know there's people out there that will steal your secrets, that will steal your, your ideas. But tell the one person that you definitely do trust that you all of these dreams and these inspirations that, or aspirations you have. So your first card is the Knight of Wands. So definitely your fire is coming in. You are definitely considering what I'm saying. You are definitely um, binding that fire. You're, you're maybe, in, I know it's Saturday and if you're anything like myself, um, I have a ton of stuff to do, but um, you definitely, I feel that you are finding that fire. You're almost in that state where you're thinking that you're tired of the situation. And then you have the Knight of Cups, which is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, and then you, of course, you have the fire. Um, so you definitely are going to start doing this with love. Um, as I said before, this I feel is that one particular person that you're going to start revealing these things to, these in, these ideas, these um, aspirations that you have. Um, I can hear, um, what is that song? Um, I don't know, Over the Rainbow came into mind here. Um, so St. Patrick's Day, you may... And reveal these secrets and the, these dreams to someone on St. Patrick's Day. Um, and 
Um, oh my gosh, the song is from Lame the Um I can't think of what it is. Um, but you just rainbows and unicorns and leprechauns and I don't know why I'm being led to all of that um must mean something to someone um you might be Irish and I see green so green is the sign of money so I think green is the heart chakra so which would go with this cups so love and you you want to do something that you love you're tired of doing the mundane tired of getting up in the morning and we're going to work for someone else and thinking that nothing is is gonna um get any better because you're battling your dreams you're battling your in, your aspirations this is the five of wands you're battling that fire that passion that burns deep inside you that lights your heart on fire the things that you really really want to do the things that you um that make you want to get up out of bed in the morning once you do that you are going to and this is funny you are going we have the king and queen of pentacles here so you are going to come into your both your divine and your feminine energy when you just start following those dreams, start, I'm being, I can see a person sitting and drawing your dream. Maybe that you want to become an artist or that you want to publish artwork or you want to um, do graphic design. Uh, just something, maybe you just sit there in your, your moments when you have nothing else to do. And you're just like daydreaming. You just start drawing and picking up a pen and a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper. You are you're fulfilling that that dream of yours in that minor small way. And I feel that you just want to bloom. You just want to grow in your art. You just want to make. Um, those situations uh, make that situation happen those dreams come true all right so let's go ahead and draw some clarifiers what deck do i want to use use light seers i haven't used light seers in quite a while so let's go ahead and see what comes out with the light seers which is a great um opposition to these cards these cards are more like gold and black very regal and very royal you may your favorite color may be purple you may for some reason i thought of the royal family you may be like someone who likes to watch the royal family roses i can see people throwing roses at someone's at someone's feet um we are in that season where we are getting ready to go into to Passover and Easter so you could be getting starting to think about that all even because because it is so close it is the end of March when we do celebrate Easter this year so you I don't know it's just the images to me don't make sense but I'm sure they make sense to someone out there. I'm still being drawn to over the rainbow. Cards don't want to leave today. They want to go away. Let's three more spirit. Three more. Please clarify the five of wands for me. All right. So you have the king of cups, which is water, energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this is emotional. This is love. This is, um, again, more water, energy, more passion. 
I, for some reason, am looking at the Knight of Wands here. Um, I feel that it is a passion that you have. It's a love that you have that you want to make this happen, that you want to make these dreams come true. And it's something that burns deep, deep inside you. So you are finding, you'll find your Zen when you, you start doing this, you start revealing these, these dreams to people. And for some reason, I just noticed there's a crown on the top of this gentleman's head. So, which would make sense for King of Cups, but again, more, more purple, more royalty. Um, maybe it is something to do. Your dream is to do something with royalty, with the color purple, with, um, just going by the water. Maybe, you know, that just came in my head that maybe you, you find your, your, you find your most peacefulness, your Zen when you're by the water, like I do. You you have to be around that water, and that's where you heal. That's where things come to you and make you come up with your 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 ideas for whatever it is that you your dream is. Then you have the Ten of Wands. So I feel that you definitely are going to go ahead and you're going to start packing things up metaphorically, packing up these old ways that you've been in and trying, starting to try and adopt these new ideas that you have, these new situations, the new dreams, the new ways. I mean, obviously, I'm not telling you to go out and quit your job. But just start trying to tweak it and work it into your um, into your work day, into your work week. And then you have the chariot. So once you come into this, this is fast moving. Once you go ahead and you start revealing that, those dreams to that one particular person, these things are going to come, start happening for you. You're going to work together. Um, and it's something with light work, hands that ha more hands make light work. So the more people you have helping you in this situation, the more easier it's going to be, the more, more, uh, the faster things are going to come. And then you're going to have the sun, Leo energy. So once you start working on this, you're going to be like this this lady here basking in the sunlight. Um, August comes to mind and that things will start happening. Like I said, I feel you're going to reveal those secret, those dreams to that one particular person right around St. Patrick's Day. And then you will bask in that sunlight come August because you'll start to see the fruits of your labor coming in because five of sorts, you've been racked in your brain. You've been um, stuck with that headache, so to say. You're just like that humdrum every morning getting up. And then we have the five of wands. So five, five might mean something. May 5th, um, you may have been born on the fifth day of the month. So you you have that headache because you don't want to get up in the morning. You just you you drag yourself out of bed and you kind of just do it because you need the money, but you're not happy. And then you're gonna have the nine of wands. Now traditionally this is the wounded warrior card, but I see this more as like the the two of wands where you are looking to your future. You're look, You're starting to see things come in. You're starting to see things bloom, things grow. And you're, you're looking at the world thinking, okay, I can do this. And so I really don't see this card today as the Wounded Warrior card. I see it more as looking to the future and you're starting to build that foundation, like the Three of Wands, or I'm sorry, the Four of Wands. You're starting to build that foundation of that growth and because those walls are starting to come up on your dream. 
All right, so let's go ahead and draw some oracles. Let's go ahead and start with my these. What advice do you have for my collective spirit? My high vibes heals the world. Exactly. When you are happy, you're content, and you your 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 positivity, your your light will grow and everyone will see it around you. Anything else, Spirit? Let your inner fire warm you, but not burn you. Exactly, more wand energy. Let that fire, that passion warm you. Let it start to light up your heart and bring it to life. But don't go so much into it that it will burn you. Um, don't start skipping work because you are working on that. Um, and, and just find the time to make that those things come true. But still remember your responsibilities that you have to yourself and your family. One more spirit. I trust my gift. I trust in my gifts. We all have gifts. I feel whatever it is that is your passion, your dream, is a gift. It's a gift from God. It's a gift from the universe that you need to pursue and that you need to make happen because that is what your, your divine destiny is to be on this earth for. Let's go ahead and draw a Pegasus card and see what comes out with them. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Saturday. It is, it snowed overnight around here. Um, kind of just like tapping you on the shoulder and say, hey, it's still winter. It's still going to snow. So, even though, I'm not a fan. I don't like snow. <laughs> I guess I'm in the wrong place to live in Buffalo. <laughs> But our summers are great around here, so it kind of makes up for it in the summer. So you have the blue pegasus of the open sky. So you, you're, which is card number five. So we have five, five, five. So you are, your dreams will bring you into like open skies. You have no, you'll have no boundaries, no you'll see no walls up around your dreams they'll they'll keep blooming they'll keep growing for you um there's no end to the magic that you can create in yourself let's go ahead and draw a unicorn card since we're talking about dreams We have receive. Be open to receiving guidance before believe. I'm sorry. Be open to receiving guidance. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. So yes, re receive. Receive that help. Um, don't hold in. Don't think that you can do everything yourself because you can't. You you need some help and definitely a gift will come to you soon um so just keep your eyes open let's go ahead and do a fairy a fairy message
We have fairy spotting. It's time to go fairy spotting. It's said that seeing is believing. In fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. I definitely believe that. You believing is seeing, not necessarily the other way around. So you have to believe to see it happen. You, that's like your dream. You your dream is not something that's physically there at this moment. It's it's fan. It's I don't want to say fantasy, but it's something that is in the inner depths of your your mind, and you believe in it. Even though you can't see it, you can't see it happening right now, but it, um, so you have to believe in what you see, or when you believe you see decisions. So you have to make some decisions on the path and the way that you want to go. Those decisions are going to be hard decisions that you're going to have to make. But I feel that you're going to make them with the deepest and the happiest of minds. Love. Again, do what you love. Um, we all go to work and do things that we um, might not love. Uh, but So make sure that you, you, you find some time to do something that you definitely do love. And whatever that is, that is what your dream is. That is what you you want to to make happen. All right. So let's go ahead and draw one of these. See what is going on with these cards today. We have the goddess of the moon. So I get Pisces energy off of this. This is card number 52, which equals seven. So two, five, seven. You, I feel you dream, like you, you think about these dreams and these these aspirations under that full, that moon. You think about them at night in your dreams and that's when everything comes out to you and maybe that's when you get your ideas and the things that you want to do then we have attachment which is card number five so you definitely are attached to these dreams these inspirations aspirations that you want to make happen and they may be you may have a too strong of an attachment to them at the moment and you're letting them kind of control your life in a way. I almost feel like you need to let that go um, and not have such an attachment to them. All right, because we, like I said, we all have to remember that we have responsibilities in our life that we need to make make come true. We all have bills to pay and food to put on table, even if it's just yourself, you you still have those responsibilities and you can't have that that make those the strongest of attachments. But you can still still think about them. Ascended Masters, card number 40, which equals the number four. Devoted spirits with intent, specific intentions. So yeah, we all have ascended masters. And they have, for some reason when I see this, I think of the TV show Charmed. If you are a fan of Charmed like myself, um, I feel that this is the, um, I forget what they were called, but the people that watched over um, Piper, Peru, and uh, wrote, or Piper, Peru, um, oh, for Pepper, this like the is Pepper, but that's Pepper Pods from Iron Man. Um, Piper, Peru, Phoebe, and Paige. So they watched over those girls along with Leo. So you, we all have ascended masters, people that are up there watching over us, keeping us safe. Um, and I almost feel that they're watching you. They're they're seeing what you're going to do with the gifts that they've given you. Um, the gifts that they want to help you with. 
And then we have the card number 15, which is num equals to number six, so 156. Archangel Haniel, joy, blessings, and intent intuition. So we all have intuition. It's whether or not we choose to follow it. Your dream might be to be a psychic medium, to do tarot, to, and your intuition is tapping you on the shoulder and you're just choosing not to believe it, not to follow it. Maybe that spirit is telling you that you definitely need to, and it's going to bring you joy and blessings. And then card number 30, which is the number three, soulful appreciation. Again, there's the butterfly, um, heartful gratitude. Have gratitude for everything that you have in your life. Um, I'm thinking of the St. Jude's commercial where you have, um, um, what's her name? Mary Lou Hunter, I, or not Mary Lou Hunter, um, Danny Thomas's daughter up there saying, have, have gratitude for the blessings you have in your life or whatever she says. So have gratitude for everything that you have in your life. Um, because we all have those things that we, we kind of just like don't pay attention to. All right. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. We'll draw a sun card or my second greeting card. And do I have, I don't think I have the book out here. I'll have to look for the book. Oh, there it is. Give me a second guys. Oh kind of move that closer all right so let's go ahead and draw a psychic reading card to wrap this up and see what comes out with them okay we have card number 31 the third eye 31 equals 4, so 1, 3, 4. Um, I feel that you definitely need, you have inspiration, you have, you have the ability, you have intuition, you have that knowledge, that greater knowledge that we all need. Um, you just have to, to look through that third eye. So it says, you have received this card as the universe wants you to realize you have the gift of clairvoyance and it is time to use it. At our conception, we are bestowed with all our psychic gifts for, for our life or for our life here on earth, the earthly realm. From birth to 10 years of age, our gifts remind us or remain with us. Unfortunately, as we get older, some of us are told that some, these those gifts those unique gifts are not real at when it in fact is not true when you those like imaginary friends are they really imaginary and the third eye psychic reading card uh, is a gentle reminder that your natural born gift is still well and truly within you the, this card acknowledges that now is the right time to re re reactivate the gift and access your spiritual psychic gifts or your spiritual psychic psychic sight through your third eye. Your third eye chakra is located between your eyebrows and is associated with um, with the color indigo. It's like right in here. When functioning at its full potential, your third eye chakra will open your mind to the spirit realm and the universe of the spirit realm of the universe, and it will also allow Anna to read, <laughs> allowing you to access information from both psychic and spiritual worlds. Your third eye is really related to the psychic gift of clairvoyance. Begin to pay attention to the signs you are receiving from the universe and those you have around you in spirit. You may receive messages in the form of signs, dreams, visions, number sequences. I've been seeing a lot of ones, like one, 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 one. And we'll get into that in here in a moment. Orbs, uh, orbs 
or by seeing loved ones in spirit with your psychic gifts, your physical eyes, or third eye. Seeing a loved one in spirit can be more, can be one of the most comforting things human phys humans physically experience and is also one of the greatest blessings you have, you can have bestowed upon you. If you do see a loved one in spirit, remember they don't want, do not want you, want to alarm you. They simply want to let you know they are alive and well in the spirit realm. They are letting you know they are always by your side to share their their land guidance. So definitely, you we all have a third eye. It's whether or not we choose to open it and let the world see what is in there. All right. So I do want to let you guys know the reason why I mentioned um, number sequences number one because it was in the book um number two i did mention at the beginning of this i am going to be bringing back a um a reading that i was gifted um by a good friend of mine who is another fellow tarot reader um and it was it's called angel numbers and there's a reason to everything I feel maybe that's the reason why I've been seeing the 1111 is because 1111 is an angel number. And so maybe that was Spirit's way of telling me, hey, Anna, you need to bring back angel numbers. So they are coming back tomorrow. And so I will record those in the morning along with my pick a bell reading. And I don't know, I may throw in a Scorpio reading or a water sign reading. Or something along the lines there too so stay tuned for at least angel numbers which will make its wonderful debut back again and um, my pick a bill reading so in the meantime I did do a reading yesterday so check that out it is posted on the channel um, and I am in the process of revamping the channel and giving the channel a little a more fresher newer look um, hence the new tarot cards and the new microphone and the other special thing that I'm buying, getting today. So, um, as always, I love you all to the moon and back a million times. And please hit that like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. Please help me get to 100 subscribers by the end of February. Um, and again, I love you all to the moon and back a million times. Rock those towers. Towers are never bad. They're always good. They're just way, Spirit's way of picking us up by the shirt collar and put, putting us back on that right path that we need to be on because we all follow that little white rabbit down the rabbit hole. All right. So I will see you all soon. Bye.